Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. Let's jump into Marriage Boot Camp, the hip hop edition. Okay, y'all. I watched this episode. It got on my last nerve. I just want to say off top, because I'm probably going to say it a lot throughout this review. I don't believe 99.9% .9 of this stuff is real. The only thing I think that's real on this show is our Jews and Styles P story. Everyone else is here for the check. Everyone else is pulling stunts for reality TV. I'm not mad at it. Their job is to entertain us. I would like for you to entertain us with a little bit of the truth, but let's just jump into it. Let's just jump right into this review. It starts off with Michelle and her maybe boyfriend. I don't even know. I believe they're the fake couple, but um, they're in the room arguing about the usual. I ain't even gonna get into it, but Michelle said something that I peeped. She said, I've already apologized. No, because Michelle was out there doing yoga. Ballistic came out. She apologized to Ballistic. When she gets back into the room with Stu, she was, they were arguing about something. And she said, look, I've already apologized to Jocelyn's husband. Okay, now remember last week I peeped. Jocelyn was wearing this ring that she wears over there on the Zeus Network on the cabaret. So... On the cabaret, we already know she's engaged. But over here on boot camp, she's begging to be engaged. I don't know. I mean, Angie, they could have shot the cabaret first. I mean, second. And they shot this first, but they're just airing the cabaret first. I don't know. But it just seems, no. No. Because last week, I peeped the ring. And they're on this show talking about... I want him to propose to me, but last week you had on the ring. I mean, it's very confusing. It's very fake. Jocelyn and Ballistic do a lot of fake stuff to me this episode, but let's dive in some more. So next we see Shozu's in the bed with Bianca. He's checking out his phone. He's texting somebody. He gets up. He goes outside to work out. Now, Bianca is in the bed sleep. A scene comes up where the phone is buzzing. It wakes her up. She looks at it. She's angry. She notices whose it is. She goes outside and gets him the phone. She's pissed. <clears throat> now, so now when she comes back in the house, everyone is trying to see what's going on. They're like, oh, shit, it just went down. Some more young people shit, all this stuff. And so Jocelyn speaks to Bianca, and I guess Bianca doesn't say hello in the way that Jocelyn would like for her to say hello, and she just goes, and I do that to people too, it, it might be rude, it might be rude, because people might speak to me, I'd be like, mm -hmm, hey, and it is rude, it, it, it is rude, but she ain't feel like talking to nobody, but she acknowledged you, Jocelyn, but Jocelyn all in confessional, like, uh-uh, this bitch, she, um, I'm the dom, I'm the grand dame. She says hello to me. If I speak to you, you speak to me. And I'm like, Jocelyn, this is not the cabaret. This is not Zeus Network. All of you all are hip hop stars. I mean, let's be honest. Of everyone that is on the show, you probably have, you do have the least amount of hip hop hits. You just... You just known from being on Love and Hip Hop, and we know that you rap. But you ain't got no rap hits. hits. At least Bianca had a hit song back in the day. So you're not the grand dame. Now, we love you. You are a number one, number two reality star fave. We like to see you on our TV. But you are not the grand dame. This is not Miami. This is not the cabaret. These ain't your little $2 hoes <laughs> from G5. Look, this girl ain't got to speak to you the way you want to be spoken to. So now it's a lot of arguments between Bianca and Jocelyn. And I said, I'm about to hit fast forward. Because at one point, everyone, Dr. Ish has a one-on-one -on -one with Bianca. And I'm like, I'm like Jocelyn. And um, even though I think it's fake, I'm like, I'm tired of hearing this stuff. Y'all, um... Ain't been together nine months. Y'all arguing and fighting like y'all been married for nine years. And it's too much. 
What are y'all, 21, 22, 23, whatever? I don't care if you was 32. Leave. Leave. If it's causing you this much stress, this much drama, just leave. Like, are you all the fake relationship? Somebody in the house is in a fake relationship. And it, it might be them because he is admittingly saying, I always talk to three or four girls at one time and I let them all know. And then Bianca comes back. I know I'm skipping all over the place, but it ain't too much happening. A lot of fake shit. And Bianca was acknowledging like, yeah, she knows that. But the girl he was talking to was the girl she took the $200 Uber ride to wherever he was to his college to go beat her up. And so, so I'm like, this girl who just got beat up by Bianca, you still talking to her? She still want to talk to you? Knowing you got this crazy girlfriend. And who is Chozu's to where he can have three, four girls? <laughs> like, I ain't seen him on no hip-hop charts. I mean, but me and, and you ain't got to have no hip-hop hit to do it. But let's jump back into this. So now Bianca is talking to Dr. Ish some more. And I noticed she talking about these three pregnancies again. And I'm like, no one is peeping that she's saying she's been pregnant three times within nine months. And I'm starting not to believe it because this time when she's talking to Dr. Ish about it, the order changed. Last week, she had abortion, miscarriage, abortion. Now, this week when she's talking to Dr. Ish, she had abortion, abortion, miscarriage. It ain't none of my business, but all I'm saying is I did notice that the order changed. And to me, and if I'm judging, get in the comments and let me know. And... People judge me, so I don't give a damn. It's too much to be pregnant three times within nine months of knowing someone. And within that nine months, one of the pregnancies, you all weren't even together. And within the nine months, you know he's been cheating on you pretty much the entire time. Why are you all still together? One. Why are you all not using any protection if you know he's not using protection with you for you to be pregnant three times? He's obviously not using protection with anyone else. And why are you opening yourself up to all of that? It's, it's nasty. Like, we're in 2020. Everyone knows about every disease out there. Wrap it up. Even the pregnancies, whatever, do what you want with your body. You pregnant now, girl. I don't know if it's by Chozus or not. Not my business. But all these diseases out there, girlfriend, wrap it up. He's not worth it let him catch whatever he want on his body but protect yourself <sighs> let's move on now jocelyn is still tripping about the way um bianca smiled she's going off let's fast forward through that and oh okay i wrote it down in my notes now chozeus is explaining he has two phones because I thought I was tripping at the beginning of the episode. I'm like, I know when he got up out that bed and went to go work out, he had a phone in his hand. So I'm like, how does the, the phone get back in the room? But, oh, he has two phones. Two phones is already code for um cheating. Like, if you are not at a job where they give you a work phone, why do you need two phones? Moving on, they're still arguing. I said, move on. And then she found out it was the girl that she beat up. Moving on. And so now Jocelyn is clearly trying to pick a fight with Bianca. And I don't know if you all are watching the cabaret and you know this bitch named Daisy on the cabaret. This show is showing me how much bullshit is going on on the cabaret because in this moment right now jocelyn turns into daisy the same thing that daisy says to the dark-skinned girls on the cabaret is the same bullshit jocelyn is about to say to bianca and i'm like yes you and daisy are best friends yes you are probably feeding this bullshit to daisy to say on the cabaret or you know that Daisy says this bullshit because you and her talk this way about other people in Miami. But just because you're the leader of the cabaret, you have to call out the colorism. But 
Jocelyn tells Bianca, you fake smiled at me because I'm so beautiful. And she was like, bitch, I wake up like this. I'm beautiful every day, so you need to get used to it. And I'm like, what does you being beautiful have to do with anything that's going on with Bianca today? It has nothing to do with it, Jocelyn. Don't get on this show acting like Daisy. We don't like Daisy. Remember that. Beauty has nothing to do with Cho Zeus talking to other women on two phones and Bianca being upset. Your looks have nothing to do with it. Don't start it, Jocelyn. She's calling Bianca all kind of bitches. And Bianca is like, Jocelyn got one more time to call me a bitch. And in this moment, the way Bianca was crying and the way she was so emotional, she's not an actress. She was truly crying. So everyone is trying to console Bianca. Everyone is trying to check Jocelyn. Jocelyn cannot be checked. Jocelyn goes outside. Bianca follows her with Dr. Ish and they still arguing and crying and now jocelyn because bianca is crying she has to start crying and was like bitch you don't know what i'm going through so what's your man cheating on you my baby daddy trying to take my daughter away from me and now now jocelyn is crying and jocelyn is not a good actress either i can tell when she's acting but she, now she's really crying and you see her tears bianca had tears too and I'm like, but but Jocelyn, this has nothing to do with you, Stevie, or Bonnie Bella. You started this bullshit with her. She was having her moment. <laughs> Don't steal her moment with your bullshit with you and Stevie J. We ain't talking about you and Stevie right now. And if you were so concerned with losing your daughter, why are you in L.A. for 10 days filming this bullshit? You should have been in Miami, working it out with Stevie. We already see on Instagram, y'all co-parent very well. Let's move on. Now, all this foolishness, Bianca and Jocelyn are crying. Aju has to come in and say, look, y'all on bullshit. Jocelyn, the reason why we're consoling Bianca is because when my daughter committed suicide, it was because she couldn't get over the heartbreak of a relationship with her girlfriend. And so I see in Bianca the same hurt I seen in my daughter. And she was trying to tell her she's not tripping right now because of this man. We're trying to console her because we don't want her to take that same step our daughter took. We wish we could have reached our daughter and our daughter could have got over the relationship the way you trying to tell Bianca just to get over it. And I understand that. Some when you living in that moment of heartbreak and you just now have gotten hurt, it you can't people you people the first thing people say is leave them, just get over it, you ain't got to deal with this bullshit. That's all good and well to say. But when you're living in that moment of just being hurt, it's hard to just snap out of it. You have to go through the emotions. And they all, Jocelyn, all they were trying to do is help Bianca through the emotions. Now, I understand. It's, it's bullshit. Like, this man has cheated on you from the second he's been with you. But some people like to live in that confusion and they like their relationships like that. Just let them, let her be. If that's, if it, it pisses me off having to watch it every week. But if that's how she wants to deal with her relationships. Let her be, Jocelyn. We ain't even gonna talk about all the bullshit we seen you endure and put up with on Love & Hip Hop. Now, now let's keep going. Now, the, the exercise this week is called Needs and Wants. They get to go to a pool party and they get to play spy games. Half the people get to go to the pool party, the other half of the couple get to sit in the living room and watch. Now, mind you, from the moment they said what they were doing, I said, this is some fake shit. <laughs> this is some fake shit, but let's roll with it. Because at the end, we we realized it was fake. Everyone at this pool party is saying everything that needs to be said to trigger their significant other in the house. Styles sees Aju talking to some white man, and, and he's like, maybe I should let her go. I did her so wrong, maybe I should let her go. 
Um, Shawnee is talking to somebody about her fashion line, and CeeLo is just jealous. Like, I don't like seeing her talk to nobody. And so, okay, CeeLo, get over that. Um, now Bianca sees her man talking to all these beautiful women, and she's not jealous. She's like, I don't mind him talking to other women in the club. I would be in the club turning up with him. I just don't like him talking to that bitch who asked I had to whoop for $200. I don't like him talking to her. <laughs> or he says anybody that he's cheated on her with in the past, he can't talk to them. But he can talk. She don't mind him talking to these new girls so he can cheat on her in the future. Whatever. She ain't say that, but that's just what I'm thinking. I'm like, but moving on. Stu is smiling in all the ladies' faces. What Michelle A said, 55 teeth. And um, he's just smiling in everybody's face. Stu is talking about, I knew it was a trap from the beginning. So, I'm no, nah, we ain't falling for that. But Michelle A is in the house like, I knew he wanted to be with all these women. I don't even want to get into their storyline. Jocelyn is doing the absolute most. She is twerking. She told them, hey, let's skinny dip and two girls... From G5 took off all <laughs> they weren't from G5, but um took off all their clothes and hopped in the pool. Um she fed some man some fruit, and then she told everybody, look, what we do out here at this party, when we go back in the house, let's not tell them what we was doing. But y'all were doing nothing. But in the house, ballistic is on 25. He's not even on 10. His head has exploded. He can't believe what he's seen Jocelyn do. He can't believe that Jocelyn said, don't tell nobody what we're doing out here when you all were not doing anything <laughs> out there. So Ballistic is mad. He said, party's over. He comes out pushing over the palm trees. Jocelyn is laughing at him. Like, this is clearly Ballistic's time to show what he's learned in acting one-on-one. And mind you, he was doing pretty good. I believed he was angry. But Jocelyn is laughing at him like, I can't believe this fool out here really mad. <laughs> and so Ballistic pushes the champagne out of Jocelyn's hand. We get to hear a good crash of glass hit the ground. Jocelyn is still laughing at his ass. He goes upstairs, locks the door. Um, now <laughs> Jocelyn is still laughing, banging on the door. Ballistic let me in. He ain't letting her in. Like, I don't want to see my queen look like this. You need to learn how to respect the king. <sighs> Mind you, mind you, I watched the cabaret. What Jocelyn did over here on the Wii TV at this pool party looked like a Disney cartoon. Jocelyn on the Zeus Network walks around damn near naked. The only thing she has on on Zeus is pasties and a string up her ass. She walks around with her full ass out twerking it for the whole t national TV to see who anybody who paid four ninety nine for Zeus can see, she busting her legs wide open. She um um uh, I mean <laughs> I I just didn't get it. I'm like, Jocelyn looks like she's doing PG, G. It ain't even G rated compared to what I see her do over here on Zeus. And you telling me, Ballistic, you upset and you mad? The music video she just put out on the Zeus Network, it cannot be shown on any television channel that I know because the video is X-rated. You cannot show that video anywhere but streamed online. And you telling me you mad at what she did over here at this pool party? No, sir. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So now everyone's like, oh, we support you, Jocelyn. Let's come in here and apologize to Ballistic. Woo, 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 woo. But Jocelyn is still in there laughing. Ballistic is still doing, he's still in character. He's like, no, no, I'm mad. If you can't apologize to me, if you're laughing. <laughs> and so I believe since Jocelyn cannot stop herself from laughing, she drops to her knees and is like, well, baby, I'm so sorry. Let me kiss your feet. And then she starts fake crying. Because when she gets up, <laughs> from the fake crime when they stand her up and her kissing his feet. She don't have a single tear, her eyes not red, and her face is still smirked. And I'm like, 
Jocelyn, go to the um acting classes with your husband because he did good. He did good. He stayed in character. You could not, you couldn't get it together on this apology team. Now we have to come to the end of the show where we do a jury of our peers again and Dr. Toller or Judge Toller gets to come out. We find out everyone at the party was fake. Everyone was assigned to show someone at the party their needs. And so their partners in the house could see other people giving their partners the things that they aren't getting from their significant other. That exercise is bullshit. <laughs> like... No, no, ma'am. If you at a um, boot camp for marriage counseling, the last thing you want to see is somebody flirting and doing whatever with your significant other. That's that's a reason to cause people to want to break up even further, not point out what I'm doing wrong. But this is also for TV. The only thing I noted from this exercise is I love the way CeeLo talks. I know it drives Shawnee crazy and I get it. But he ain't my man. I love the way CeeLo talks and explains <laughs> everything going on in a relationship. It's like a riddle, and I love it. <sighs> Y'all know when it's time to play jury of the peers, it's called to play jury of Angie. I'm going to tell you what I think. I think all of this shit is fake. Um, Kick Miss Chalet and Stu out. Their storyline is driving me insane. I ain't never seen no woman who say, I'm, I will be happy with him living out his dreams of being with a, with a woman prettier than me. No, ma'am. Ain't no ain't no woman that insecure. I, I done seen some. Ain't nobody that insecure where they want their happiness is to see their man with somebody more beautiful than them. Moving on. Um, CeeLo and Shawnee, I feel like y'all just here to um get some camera time. I don't really see the issue. CeeLo, give pay the woman a little bit more attention. Aju and Styles P, I see the realness in your storyline, but the fakeness of everyone else is hindering you all from getting the help that you all really need. Because I feel like you really want your relationship to work. You really here to try to get some kind of help. It ain't going to happen because everyone else around you is on bullshit. Um, who's left? Bianca and Shozu's just break up. It is not worth it. I I really I don't know who you pregnant by, girl. I don't follow you. If it shows Zeus, I'm gonna pray that y'all learn how to co-parent because I don't care. It's babies don't save relationships. I don't it ain't I can introduce you to a hundred single mothers <laughs> that will tell you a child does not save a relationship. I I can just I can introduce them to you, girl. I don't know what you're going to do. Congratulations on the pregnancy, but leave this man alone. And last and not least, Bianca and Ballistic, just keep coming on my TV and entertaining me because I don't believe anything you all are saying or doing on this show, but you make me laugh. This week, you kind of drove me a little bit crazy. <laughs> but if it wasn't for Jocelyn and her bullshit, who else is going to move these boot campers along? Who else? I hope y'all get a wedding special or something because I'm sure you all are engaged and probably happily married. I don't know. But that was it this week. We're going to get into it next week. I want to say next week is when we figure out who the fake couple is. I wish they would hurry up and tell me. It has to be Bianca and Shozu's or Michelle and Stu. They're the only two that look fake to me. All right, y'all. That's all I have to give because that's all the show gave. I still got 23 minutes out of this. I still, that was pretty good. I probably just talked too much. Y'all, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit subscribe, become a part of the Kiss My Cheeks family. You all will have a good time. I, have, I review a lot of other shows. And then you know what else to do? Like, get in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this week's episode and share. All right. Have a good one. Bye.